Hello everyone, welcome to this another video of uh, FRQ type 3 uh, potentially for AP pre-calculus. So uh, let's read this one out. Uh, uh, this, this is this question is shared by someone who is, I think, they're following my channel. So yeah, this is the source. Uh, to strengthen um, his muscles, he performs dumbbell curls where he raises and lowers a dumbbell by bending at his elbow. Okay, that's an inspiration. When his arm is extended at his side, the middle of the dumbbell is said three inches from the ground. So what I understand from this is when his arm is extended at his side, so it means that he's in relaxed position. And I'm going to make a dumbbell over here. So pardon my art, but yeah, this is what the dumbbell is going to look like. Um, assuming that the the arm is denoted by this uh, this straight line, this is the arm and let's suppose this is somewhere where the ground is um, so they are saying that it is 33 inches from the ground which means that this guy over here is 33 inches or inch inches okay uh, the length from Drew's elbow to his palm where he's gripping the middle of the dumbbell is 11 inches it makes sense that the length of the elbow is obviously from here to here right from the middle to the middle of the dumbbell uh, from the elbow and this is 11 inches okay Drew begins with his uh, right hand extended at his side so in this position the relaxed position then completes one full curl in four seconds a full a uh, full curl consists of raising and lowering the dumbbell it makes sense right it like for example uh, this is uh, right now is his full uh, you know kind of uh, he fully um, raised his dumbbell and then he will come in the relaxed position and there will definitely be a position let me change my color over here there will definitely be be a position where he is right now at this position right uh, where the dumbbell will be uh, like this uh, uh, which is potentially be the middle line but we'll just keep reading uh, he performed da, 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 da. okay he he does uh, all of that for one minute right so and he does four seconds so just by reading the four I think uh, it's kind of a comfort zone because there are kind of four okay you know what let's hold on to that discussion Sinusoidal function H models that models the distance between the middle of the uh, of the dumbbell in Drew's right hand and the ground inches of the function of time in seconds. The graph of H in this dashed midline for two full cycles is shown. Uh, five points are labeled, no scale, no axis. Excellent. Determine possible coordinates of this for the so they are not saying that it's like starting from here it's just like two complete cycles uh, you know it can be anything so um one thing is for sure that uh, if you're talking about the middle middle portion and that's what i was talking about that when the dumbbell is at this position uh, that will be the middle right that's going to be the middle uh, this the when the dumbbell when he's at relaxed position this is the minimum and when he is above uh, in the completely lifted position he is uh, at his maximum he as in the dumbbells position is at its maximum right that's what it is so uh, nothing is going to be negative because after all everything is above the x-axis so it's not like this is the x-axis it's just the midline but i know that uh, the minimum is going to be uh, 33 inches uh, so if I assume that just G is the starting position because obviously he starts from this position, right? So this can be 33 comma 0. There's nothing wrong with this. And I know that L is where he completes one cycle and one cycle is what? Four seconds, right? So right off the bat, I know. Oh, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. No, sorry. That's correct. That's incorrect. Because we got to write time first obviously because uh, uh, it's h as a function of time right yeah time goes first my bad so this should be 0 33 and this should be 4 33 so that's uh, that, that's obviously understandable and what i was saying is since it is, he's taking four seconds to this one cycle so it makes sense that after one second he is here then one second he is here two seconds then one second three second and then one second four seconds so the other things that at least the time is clear that it's one comma something this is two comma something and this is three comma something 
and what are these something uh, when he is uh, in the in the midline as in this green position uh, the total height should be obviously 33 plus 11 which is 44 so let's mark it as 44 uh, when he has fully raised like at this position so it will become you know that will be kind of if i were to uh, make some space here uh, sorry just give me one second yeah so this 11 inches will be further raised so it's like from the ground it's 33 plus 11 plus 11 so it's 44 plus 11 correct which is 55 i think so this should be 55 inches this should once again be 44 inches because it's at the same level and this should be 33 inches so i think these should be the possible coordinates of g h j k and l i hope it makes sense and i hope i am right okay this is more to it uh the function h can be written in the form of da 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 find the values of a b c and d so this is about synthesizing the model correct so uh, how do we synthesize h of t is equal to a cos b t plus c plus d you know what b is the easiest the way i see it because i know the formula uh that the 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 coefficient of whenever it is written like this then the b is 2 pi over absolute value of the time period or the period and the period is 4 right that's already given in the question so 2 pi over 4 is pi over 2 that's one thing out of our way a is the amplitude and d is the midline we know that very well so what is the midline really uh, uh, clearly the midline is um, uh, uh, 44 so uh, this is 44 uh, uh, so uh, this is 44 over here let me switch the color over here so this is 44 and the amplitude is the distance between the midline and the maximum or the midline and the minimum it doesn't really matter so this distance is obviously uh, 11 right because 55 minus 44 is 11 so this is 11 over here a b is already we are through with it what is c c is the horizontal shift so if there are two ways i mean if you are unable to uh uh, kind of visualize this uh, 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 then you can uh, plug in the points but if you are able to visualize this you can look at this point what is this point 1 comma 44 ideally sine should have started uh, sorry was that sine or cos function it's a, it's a cos function so it, it, the, the starting point is over here all right and ideally um uh uh cost should have started with the maxima right so in a way the maxima has been shifted by two units to the right can, can we say that right that the maxima has been shifted two units to the right um so if it is shift uh, if, if if it is uh shifted two units to the right and shifting to the right means a minus right the shifting to the right definitely means uh that we have to put a minus over here. sorry we have to put a minus over here so c will be negative two uh and i think i have everything c is negative two means it is shifted to the right so the answer is 11 cos pi over two t minus two plus 44 this is the overall function which has been synthesized for the situation remember that be careful about whether that's you know sine or cause because uh, that, that's what uh, it could uh, it won't change a b or d but it will change the value of c so be careful about that okay now refer to the graph of h in part a so that's the same thing right the coordinates the t coordinate of h is t1 and the t coordinate of j is t2 okay the t coordinate of h and t coordinate of j you know what i'm not gonna uh jump in here and there again and again i'm just gonna borrow this guy and put it over here if i have space okay i think this is not that bad okay is this bad uh okay let's do this all right um so they are saying that this is h and the j j is this one right j is this one 
So in this interval, if the following is true, H is positive, H is always positive, right? Can't we agree on that? Because I just said that none of the value is even getting negative. As you can see, everything is positive. So H is nothing but the Y coordinate. So there's no argument about it. Y has to be positive. And clearly it's increasing, right? Because it's increasing. Uh, J to K is decreasing from H to J. Obviously the value of Y is increasing. So I think option A looks promising. Um, describe how the rate of change of H is changing on the interval of T1 to T2. So they are asking the rate of change, the change of the rate of change, right? So be careful with the terminology. For example, if they ask me the rate of change, so I will say uh, it's positive, right? Rate of change is positive and that's why it's increasing. But how is the rate of change changing? Um, so the change of the rate of change is nothing but concavity, right? And as you can see, this from T1 to T2 is a frowning face, right? It's a, it's a, it's a shape which, sorry, it's a shape which looks like this. I mean, not exactly like this, but it's like this. Um, so yeah, this is a frowning phase shape and frowning is, uh, of course, concave down. And when we have a concave down, then the rate of change is decreasing whenever we have a concave down function. So the answer for this one is decreasing. All right, okay, I think this is it for this question. Hope it makes sense. I don't have the answer key, by the way. So if you feel like I've made some mistake anyway, please let me know in the comment section. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.